In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys all the way to claim free packs here in NBA 2K23 My Team. And as you guys can see, these new Endgame Victor Wembanyama packs did just go ahead and come out today. And I'm gonna be showing you guys some methods to get these packs and other Endgame packs as well. And as you can see, these Endgame Wemby packs have a ton of great cards, of course. So I'm gonna be showing you guys the best way to go ahead and get some of these packs for free and some of the previous packs that came out as well for free just by doing simple things that take almost no time at all. Before we get into the video, make sure to leave a like and sub up first method here is going to go over here to the challenges section and go to skill challenges then you're going to scroll down and as you guys can see here the end game wilt pack is in here all these end game packs are in here including the brand new end game when Banyama packs and all you have to do is complete each of these sections now a lot of people think oh i already knew about that whatever but a lot of people don't realize that they actually missed out on a few of these sections they may have forgotten or not finished certain sections and they don't realize that and so as a result, make sure you guys go ahead and do all these sections. The newest one is going to be pretty simple with the Wembenyama one. The third game is just going to be to get a couple of blocks. The first two games are just triple threat. So that's very easy. But again, like I said, a lot of people forget that they've missed out on one or two of these. And that could be the dif difference between not getting an end game and getting an end game or an invincible card. So it's definitely worth it to go through and do all of these. They don't take that long. And you guys need to check and make sure that you've done all of them. So make sure you do that. But with that being said, there's some other ways ways to get packs that a lot of people don't know about or don't talk about that you can get for free um here in nba 2k 23 my team and let me go ahead and show you guys the next one so you're going to go over here to the home menu and click on season eight then you're going to scroll down to the agenda section and as you scroll down here is that ralph sampson what that's so weird but anyways um as we scroll down here, here are some ways to get free packs. One is going to be com by completing the Season 8 uh, reward section. Now, that's going to take basically the whole season because you have to do a ton of different things. But the other one is much simpler. You just have to apply badges, shoes, and grade cards. Um, this will cost you some MT. So, again, only do either of these sections if you're trying to hit 40 as well to get that Embiid. If not, these aren't really that great of sections to do. But you still can get free packs by doing them. So, it's up to you. But with that being said, there's some other great ways. Now, obviously, one thing going on right now is the shack takeover on the bottom left as you can see every time you win a game in any game mode you get a shack pack which is going to give you a couple hundred to a couple thousand mt every game no matter what which is super clutch and a lot of people aren't taking advantage of that but here's some other game modes that you can play obviously playing triple threat offline is going to give you a chance at that brand new vince carter and also invincible shack but there is a player pack in there as well that can give you a chance at some other cards as well and then other than that, here is a game mode that's very, very good for getting free packs, and that's going to be unlimited. This is probably the best mode to play to get as many free packs as possible. If you are good enough, obviously one thing is the vault. The vault, you can get the new end game Malone, and you can also get Invincible Shack. But if you keep scrolling here on the rewards, look at some of the rewards you can get. At 12,000 points, you get a 10 box of auctionable end game Luka Doncic packs. That's the easiest way to get a 10 box in the game. It will take you possibly a couple days. Um, if you really grind it, you could probably get it done within a few days. And you get a free 10 box of auctionable packs and a chance of getting end game cards out of it. Very good. And then at the end here is another 20 box for free. So that's all in all 30 free end game Luka Doncic packs just from playing Unlimited. Um, and again, you guys can do this within a couple of days if you really, really grind it. But again, it's just something to definitely try to do to get some free packs. If you want to get a ton of free packs, a ton of free MT and good cards, this is a great way to do that by playing Unlimited. But there is some other modes, including the mode that I think is the best mode to get free packs consistently. And that is going to be the Triple Threat Online Co-op Board, as you can see on the right side of the screen the choices right now are going to be endgame alone uh invincible shack and the brand new Wembenyama packs the endgame Wemby packs are in here they're auctionable and it is a very very good way to get these packs for free all you literally need to do is have at least one friend and play on the competitive mode and as you can see if you don't play online competitive you don't have a chance to get them but if you do play competitive you can get a chance of getting them you just need to win and you need to be playing with at least one friend online so again if you guys want to play comment your gamer tag and your console and you guys can link up with each other and play with each other in the comments down below so if you're looking for someone to play with go to the comments and check um, and drop your username and your console and you guys can link up and play this mode where you can get brand new endgame Wembenyama packs as well as an endgame alone and an invincible shack just by winning games you get a chance of getting any of those three cards and it's pretty pretty easy and common to get one of those three things so it's definitely worth it to play that mode but 
obviously clutch time online the clutch time wheel is probably going to have some great rewards in there as well triple threat online does not have any of the Wembyama packs which is pretty unfortunate but it is going to have that malone on the top board as well so you can get that end game alone from doing that um and with that being said also limited now is going to have this new cat um and then obviously that's basically going to wrap it up for in terms of those game modes of how you're going to go ahead and get some free packs here in my team um and these Wembenyama packs are so good so you guys want to go through and do these methods to get as many of them as you possibly can and the other end game packs too have great cards as well so don't sleep on some of the old end game packs they're all still end game cards again make sure you guys go through to the challenges skill challenges and make sure you've done all of these a lot of people think they did them all you didn't you probably didn't do them all um, you probably missed out on one or two of them. So check and make sure that you did them all and make sure that you go ahead and do them all. As you can see for me, I haven't done any of them yet, actually. I'm going to go through and do all of them this weekend, and I'm going to be able to open, I think it's eight free packs, something like that. Um, and I'm going to be going ahead and opening all of them at the same time, and I think that's a really fun way to do it. So definitely consider doing that as well if you have the opportunity to. Um, I'm going to grind them all and then open them all at the same time. But guys, I want you guys to look at my team. I just updated my team. I have Jokic at the point, T-Mac at the shooting guard, Bobo endgame at the three, Porzingis at the four, and then Dark matter yao at the five rate my team one through ten in the comments down below so comment your rating of my team if you think my team is terrible rate me a one if you think it's amazing rate me a ten if you think it's somewhere in the middle you can rate me a six five seven eight whatever you think my team is rate it one through ten in the comments down below i'm gonna be liking and replying to every comment that does rate my new team here and include the bench as well um and yeah i want to see what you guys think about my squad so go back pause it and see that but um with that being said i'm very very intrigued by this free ralph sampson that's pretty pretty interesting that they did that because that is a great center card if you guys didn't know this card is actually a 7-4 center that can shoot and is fast and has great animations all around so i'm really shocked that they gave that good of a card for free and yeah his price is now tanking because of this um and it looks like he is very very cheap now which is very interesting for sure um and that's really really weird that they did that but i'm kind of glad they did because that's actually fire and i'm definitely going to consider going ahead and playing that to get this card for free but i want to see here if anyone listed up some bad sub ones on accident let's see if there's any with like 40 plus hoffs 42 hall of fames for 12k that might be a really good deal hold up i gotta think about that 42 hoffs for 12k that's a pretty good deal let me lower the price and see what he's like really going for here yeah, he's going for around that 9 to 12K range. So one with 42 hops, which is 7 extra because he's based 35. Um, he's based with 35 hops. That might be worth picking up. Let me see if he's still up here. If it is, I think I'm going to pick up that 42 Hoff, Hoff Ralph Sampson to either keep for the bench or uh, auction it up for profit. 12.1K. He's rated a 9.75. 42 hall of fames i'm gonna pick this card up here dude i'm gonna pick him up for now i'm just gonna add him to the collection i might sell him for some profit um but yeah definitely look through and see that